Well, now, what is a clearance? Since we're talking about the Highland clearances, what on earth is a clearance? And it, a clearance is really, when you think about it, uh, certainly if we're talking about the Highlands in the second half of the 18th century or during the 19th century, a clearance was the very point at which a former state of society was swept away and a new kind of society was put in its place. Because the old kind of society, which is now talking, you now talk about the days of the clans, and the, the Highlands were uh, divided, if you might call it that, into a number of clan territories. And um, each clan controlled its own land, uh, which is obviously a very good idea. And uh, now why was this much older form of society still lasting in the Highlands? And the answer is the Highlands, obviously, were mountainous. And if you uh, look through your history books, it's the mountainous people, people who live in mountains, who are able to defend themselves, as it were, by against people who wish to take away their liberty. If you look at Europe, for example, uh, the feudal system was imposed all the way across Europe, except in one or two cases where there were big mountains. Switzerland, for example, they had mountains. And as Dr. Johnson said, if you live in a mountainous territory, every new ridge is a new fortress. And uh, when you think about it, if you get a handful of men on the top of the ridge with some big stones, all you have to do is to roll the stones down and you get oh, thousands of a, an ordinary army trying to march through the valley below and you can defeat them and you can keep your own system of society. Now, a clearance was uh, the change between that system, the clan system of society, and the new private property system of society, which was being um, forcibly imposed upon the highlands. Because before, the, um, the attitude was, what is land for? And the answer was, land is there to support people. So if you had a nice looking glen and uh, some uh, 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 mountain sides around it, you would have uh, uh, the people living there would be roughly in proportion to the numbers that that land could support. But when the new society was imposed upon it, land was not there to support people. Land was there to make money for the owner of the land. And there, in between the two of them, you get the clearance. Before it, you had as many people as could support themselves, and either by very small scale um, agriculture, growing crops, but the chief ways in which the clansfolk supported themselves and got food was hunting, fishing, going after wildlife. Because you must remember that compared with a modern society, uh, the, clans, the clan society was very, very sparsely populated. And there were always enough, oh, deer, rabbits, hares, and birds, flying game birds flying over, uh, fish in the sea, lovely salmon, lovely trout. And this was the main way they supported themselves, hunting, uh, fishing, and so forth. Now, this is the clan system of society, where, as I said, 
land was valued uh, in proportion as it supported people. But in what happened in the 1750s, after the great battle of Culloden, where uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie, as he was called, finally lost his attempt to overthrow the Hanoverian monarch, George II, and to go back to the Stuart kings, who had been on the throne for a century or more before the Stuarts were thrown out, the Hanoverians were brought in. So when the Bonnie Prince Charlie was defeated and his army largely composed of Highlanders, suddenly you had a victorious army in the Highlands. And there were various uh, developments at this time because don't forget we are talking now about the middle of the 18th century where an enormously important development was taking place in Great Britain. It was called the Industrial Revolution and it was the revolution which was going to overturn the previous kind of society and bring in a completely new kind of society. And as it happened, for various good historical reasons, which I could go into, uh, the Industrial Revolution came first in Great Britain. And the result of it was that Great Britain therefore had a more powerful army, more and efficient armaments and all the rest of it and were able to um, conquer other countries and to build up an entire empire. The British Empire at its height covered a quarter of the known globe and also covered a quarter of the population of the world. And it, it seems incredible that one empire could ever be that big. But this is the fact. No empire will ever be that big again. And Britain was able to build up such an enormous empire because it was the first in the field with its industrial revolution. Now, Virtually every country around the world has had its industrial revolution and so there's an enormous competition around the world to, to build up empires and all the rest of it. Then we had, and Britain had, I don't want to say we, Britain had the, was there first and was able to create this enormous empire. The result of this was that where the Highlands and the Highlanders had been able to keep their independence from this new state of Great Britain, which incidentally had only been created, what, 40 years before, when 1707, when the uh, lowlands of Scotland, ruled from Edinburgh, had joined up with England, ruled from London, to make the new, bigger, uh, state of Great Britain. And with this new uh, ability to conquer their enemies, they were able to overturn the old system in the Highlands, the clan system, and this is uh, what a clearance was. Instead of the people being there because the Glen could quite easily support them, they were cleared out and instead perhaps one big farmer would come in and uh, whereas before the clans people would have given or oh, a certain small amount of money each day to the clan chief for him to run the affairs of the clan and now the land was there to make a profit for the clan chief who had become a landlord after the triumph of Great Britain over the Highland system. And the, the result was 
that uh, whereas before uh, there were enough the people in the Highlands because it supported the people afterwards when they were cleared away and the land was instead let out to a great farmer for much more money. Uh, you don't realise. If I said to you, how would you like, what's your earning? Well, now, would you like 10% more? Would you like 20% more? Would you like, you'd bite my hand off. For oh, of course I'd like 50% more. But supposing I said to you, what do you think of five times as much as you're getting now? What do you think about 10 times? Well, you're not going to say no, are you? And this is, and this is exactly what happened to the chiefs of the clans who had been transformed into landlords by the intentional uh, changes brought about by this new big state of Great Britain. And they, they were the clearances. And um, so if you ask what a clearance was, that was it. It was the hinge between the old society and the new. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're hoping to get more videos out uh, in this, uh, of this kind. And if you did like it, please comment, uh, tell us what you thought of it. And if you want to, um, as it were, join in, press the notification bell. Thank you.